if the Bible says that I am supposed to be as wise as a serpent, then once I show the serpent that I am as wise as a serpent, wouldn't the serpent now be like Eve and Adam? Right? See, wouldn't the, the serpent first be like Eve, whom had a conversation with me and then tried to beguile me like Eve beguiled Adam? Right? And then when the serpent met me, like the serpent should have met Adam, and then I did not forsake my truth, now, wouldn't the serpent now have to eat the fruit of deception just like Adam ate the fruit out of Eve's hand? So how does it look when everything go according to God's plan and not the plan of the serpent? Right? But in the beginning of the serpent plan, all he had to do was deceive one. That was Eve. But now you all have given me a multitude of tests, a historical test, a spiritual test, a, 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 um, a matrix, right? Because a matrix is a have true experience, right? So now I'm going through this have true experience trying to figure out who friend and who foe. See, who with me and who against me, right? So, but you all say that you are followers of a righteous man, whether that man is Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee, for whom you have now renamed Jesus Christ, right? Or the prophet Muhammad. See, you all are following a story of a righteous man. But now why won't you betray, why you want me to betray my story? of a righteous man, right? See, I'm saying, but are you saying because the story that I'm making is the story of me? Well, I'm saying, well, what other story I can tell other than my story with 100% accuracy? How do I know someone else more than I know me? So why would you want me to teach you about somebody else? See, I just never understood how an example would be taught of an example. And the example is not supposed to show that it's an example, right? So if I was born thinking that I am the example, right? Then why wouldn't I now be the example that I was born to show? See, but if you say you was born to read a book, to show yourself approved, then if you choose any side of that book, then does not the other side show that you not approved? Because you pick the side, right? See, I'm saying, well, why would I pick a side in a book that's already written? Why wouldn't I just see every side to the written book? But see, do a slave understand that is two sides to every story if the, if the slave can't read. So now, if the Bible says that the, the, the darkness comprehended not the light, right? And if I am wisdom that is surrounded around a bunch of ignorant people, right? Then am I not light that's uncomprehended See, like all of the people around me is telling me as if they light and I'm darkness. But how can one person be darkness and all of you other people be light? Then why is the world so ignorant if all of this light exists? See, but all of your knowledge is based off of somebody else's experience. But do you apply the knowledge so you can see the light? Right? So if you got a light switch in your home, right, and you never turn it on, well, wouldn't you be living in darkness once God take the sun down and put up a, a dark 
backdrop in your movies, scenery. So what happens when night a day turn to dark? If you don't know what the light switch for, then wouldn't you be in darkness when you're supposed to have to turn on the light? See, think about what I'm saying. See, I'm not preaching, right? I'm advocating for my life. See, y'all devil advocates, but I am representing myself pro se. So that's why when I meet a devil's advocate, how can I not see you in Revelations 12? Right? If you are advocating for the devil and I am representing myself pro se, I'm asking you who are a devil's advocate, where is the devil? Why is he not or she not represent herself pro se, just like I'm representing myself pro se, why I don't have an advocate. But I supposed to have the state attorney. I supposed to have uh, the um, attorney general. See, they are the ones that's supposed to be defending the Florida Constitution, right? The attorney general of the state of Florida is supposed to be defending the Florida Constitution. That's why they want to be the head um, uh, um, legal official. That's what they are, the attorney general. Now, I can show you when I went to the state's attorney's office on August 12, 2008, and according to the Florida Rules of Court I, of Intake, I then gave the state attorney the evidence that was needed for the state attorney to defend every citizen in the state of Florida, including... Tommy Chancey Council Senior. So if the state of Florida through its state attorney defended every citizen except Tommy Chancey Council Senior, then according to the laws of my great country and state, I can represent myself pro se. But now I am meeting all of these devil advocates. So I'm saying, well, if you are a advocate for the devil, then is not the Bible saying that you for whom advocate for the devil can't serve two masters because you will love one, which is the devil for whom you advocating and hate the other for which is me for whom is representing myself and my people pro se in the civil and criminal courthouses and Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, then I took myself and my people into the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, Florida and then I advocated for the emancipation of my future generations on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So now, all of you devil advocates, Where's your devil that you advocating for? Where's your client? See, where's your client? Because you keeping my um, uh, 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 clients out of court. So they'll know that they Lord and Savior defeated not only the devil's advocates, but proved that the devil ain't real. See, it's his advocates real. See, that's what I'm trying to say. His angels real, but the serpent don't exist. See what I'm saying? Because the serpent is now back on all foes. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? See, he done went back to the dust. But now all left is his advocates. And now this is why you all got to read the Bible now to show yourself approved like I'm doing. Go get a scripture to justify your ignorance. It's, it, it, it's a crime. See, ignorance is a crime. That's why I say it's my people will perish for, uh, will, will be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, perish, that's in another um, Bible of like a hundred and some different deter, um, uh, interpretations of this one um, passage. So that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you all have a consensus when you got so many different books about one passage?